the spirit of the fourth industrial revolution, or Industry 4.0, the Czech company Elko EP has also been operating like this for many years. Each new idea here for innovation or a new product usually starts on paper. It receives an identification number, and only then the diagram is drawn over into a design system. Then, individual parts of the connection are debugged on a solderless breadboard, which enables easy insertion and removal of the component. After fine-tuning the connection, the next step is designing the printed circuit board. Most of our products have multiple PCBs, which are mutually designed to fit in a DIN rail-mounted installation box. From the design system, data is then sent to a 3D milling machine, which engraves the motif of the PCB into a cup ruxted board. Now, on the milled boards, it is possible to solder components and thus create a functional prototype. Here you can see the prototype in comparison with the finished product. The designed motif of the PCB in the form of Gerber data is sent to the manufacturer for mass production. Mounting plans of classic components, which are mounted manually, are sent to computer terminals at manual workstations in the form of electronic drawings. The design system also generates data for mounting SMD components, which are directly sent to the SMD line into production. An integral part of documentation includes bills of material, i.e. records of all components involved in the making of the product. These are sent to a so-called information system. From the information system, the warehouse employee loads each bill of materials into the barcode reader terminal and then deducts individual items upon removal. Another crucial part of development is design and production of the product installation box. We strive to maintain a unified line of installation boxes and differ from the competition by featuring our own design. The resulting design is printed on a 3D printer into the likeness of the model, on which we verify not only dimensions and design, but also the location of electronics and the structural design for producing molds. Data for producing molds and pressing installation boxes is generated once again from the design 3D system and is sent to the molds manufacturer. You can see the genesis of the installation box in these three basic steps. The entire production process is accompanied by serial numbers, i.e. product birth certificates. All operations, machines, and workstations feature a reader of this number and information stored on the server of the information system that controls the entire production. The production process itself starts here. Printed circuit boards from large series manufacturers are inserted into the SMD line magazine from where in the first phase they continue on to the paste printer. Through a template generated by the PCB design program, the printer applies solder paste to the places where SMD components will then be mounted. The board is then conveyed to the automatic SMD pick-and-place machine, which again has previously imported data from the design system. Each operation performed is verified against the mounting plan, and information from results of the mounting is stored in the information system for further use. In the soldering oven, on the spot of contact areas of SMD components, the soldering paste melts on the tin solder pads. Once the board runs through the oven, it returns to the magazine at the end of the SMD line. All boards are then removed from the magazine and are conveyed to the soldering line. On the manual operation line, classic and through-hole components are mounted. Located at the end of the soldering line is a wave soldering machine capable of soldering classic and SMD components. As the product is being configured, the correct configuration sequence is verified based on the serial number of individual boards. It is not possible to perform the next operation without a record of the previous operation. The system knows not only time and date of performing the operation, but also the employee who performed it. After configuration and assembly of the product into an installation box, the product is tested on an automatic tester. Products subject to calibration or more complex settings are tested manually. Records from testing procedures are once again stored in the database and by its unique serial number. It can be recalled at any time. The 
These serial numbers are not only part of our inventory, but sales staff and customers also work with them. Moreover, the laser checks whether or not the described motif matches the product type according to the serial number. If validation fails, the laser refuses to mark it. Based on the serial number, the corresponding product label is printed with the given logo immediately affixed. The serial number becomes a part of the label and is used for further logistics in finished product storage. When ordering, the customer can see via the B2P portal not only information about the given product, but also its availability. Here, it lists the current quantity in stock, and if the required product quantity is not in stock, the customer sees information about the soonest possible delivery term. Invoicing is automatic, and necessary documents are sent for expedition. The expedition employee reads the delivery note into the reader, which navigates him to the correct location of the product stored on the shelf. He confirms receipt by scanning the serial number on the reader, along with the official EAN code of the given position. After sending a consignment, the web service enables tracking of its current location, shipping, and delivery date. The customer may also use the product serial number for its further records or as a positive identifier in the Elko EP loyalty program. If you care to see how Industry 4.0 works for your own eyes, we would be happy to welcome you to our company.